Hi everyone, I'm Jade and this is Benjamin, our conversation coach. Today, tell, tell us, what are we doing? Well Jade, I'm sure for you and for all of you at home, there'll be a few people you know who are absolute masters of starting a conversation wherever they are in the world. I can think of my mum, if she got on a bus in uh, Bangkok, within half an hour, well, within five minutes, she, she would be in an amazing conversation with that person. So what we're going to be working on today is what to say when you don't quite know what to say. How to kind of get a conversation going. Get over the awkward part and get talking. The way this works is you make a statement, not a question, a statement about something that you can see that the other person can see as well. And then the other person will say whatever they want to, to respond. And then you have to, you know, go again, say something else about it. If that particular little topic dies, if it finishes, then you simply move on to the next observation. Jade hasn't really done this before, so she's in exactly the same position as you. Jade, um, do you want to just point something out that you can see in this quirky little room here? So anything, it's just like the first thing you see. Don't sort of hunt around for it because one thing isn't better than the other. The, the table's a bit dusty. It is, and it's, um, it's kind of a strange, what is that? One, one two, three, four, five, six, octagonal. seven. Octagonal. Yeah, an octagonal. I don't say that word very much. It, it's a I funny can't... colour as well, isn't it? And it used to be a different colour. Can you see that it used to be bright blue? Oh yeah, so underneath there's another layer of paint. Are, are, are you are you you're into sort of furniture, are you? No, because I I move no no I move house too much. I've learned not to be into furniture. If I stayed in one place, I I would care. Okay, cool. So that little conversation's kind of come to an end, and because Jade's taking responsibility for this conversation, or she wants to. She'll then need to make another observation to get another little conversation going. So it's always about being aware how interesting on a scale of 1 to 10 is this conversation. If it's going down the scale, then start a new conversation. There's a funny sort of grandma chair over there. Can you see it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is it kind of the chair that you, you would have at home? or, um, or um, Maybe if I lived in a log attic? cabin. <laughs> no, I was thinking log cabin and then I would... Yeah. Mm, maybe doing some yeah. knitting. Yeah, knit. Yeah. Or do that. There's a, I mean, there's a huge, great orange paint in here, isn't there? Yeah, I was wondering who that is, actually. I think she must be a, a French famous person. I can't quite remember. Yeah, that does Bridget, ring a bell. Bridget Bardot or someone? Yeah, I think you're right there. But I'm, I don't and know. And it's in a funny sort of angle as well, isn't it? It kind of comes into the room. Oh, yeah. It, it's... Uh, Convex or is that concave? I don't know. Mm, yeah, and um, would you have that on, on your wall? Would I have that? Yeah. Um, <laughs> different question there, Jane. Um, on my wall, um, well, if I had a big hallway, perhaps I'm not quite sure about the way it comes into the room. Um, I think you need quite a big space to sort yeah, of. Yeah, you need a, you need a, a, a strong wall. Does that make sense? Yeah, I could imagine having it in like a music practice room. Um, mm play the saxophone it kind of gives you the right sort of feel for yeah. that i think you're kind of getting the idea here that you're just making little observations having a little conversation about it and, and seeing where it develops as i said if the conversation dies then you move on to the next thing it's all about kind of having a little exchange and working off what the other person says and that way Rather than asking endless questions where are you from what job do you do you can get a little bit tedious takes the pressure off and, yeah. and it being personal, but to the extent the person wants to share with you and find out what you what kind of furniture you like. Don't like that furniture, but actually you can't see it. I like that chair. So we've found out something there. Yeah. Or the other way around. That's what I mean. The more, the more sort of fun you have with a person without kind of asking the, the five W's, where, what, when, why, how, all the sort of normal questions that people ask in conversations. The more likely you are to have fun, and the more likely you Stay are. Stay energized. So try it out. Next little com sort of conversation you have with a, a relative stranger, try making a statement, something that you can see 
that they can see. Don't premeditate it. Don't think it through before you say it. It's got to be in the moment. It's got to be impulsive. Okay, it's time for you to get on my email list because there you get extra information that you don't see in the videos. We'll secret see. information, like a sort of MI6 spy. Amazing secret mm. information. So we'll be back soon. Until then, bye. See ya.